Hello there. Wanted to talk to you today about GoPro cameras and their filters. I don't know if any of you have got filters for your GoPros, but to take this lens off, you, you simply pull it, rock it about from side to side, pull the front cover and then twist and it will come off. I'll show you some pictures, close up pictures of these, but this is just a lens cover and it has no filter, no color grading, no nothing in it. So it's just a plain glass filter. And uh, it's just a, a 90 degree, it's not a bayonet, but it's just a 90 degree turn. When you, when you put this on, just wiggle it until it sits down and then you twist it to the left or to the right and it will fix on. So that's now fixed on. It won't come off ever unless you pull it and twist it. Uh, anyway, so that's that. And uh, I should take some photographs uh, showing you close up because I haven't got the, a close up video so I'll, I'll use uh, uh, some close up photographs of the lens and uh, the actual camera itself when the lens covers off uh, so you can see right now the reason that you might want to change your lenses is uh, lens covers is because uh, you might want to shoot in cinematic mode now, cinematic mode normally means you're running at, uh, say, 4K, but I'm using 24 frames a second, which is the minimum that you can get away with and still have uh, footage that, that runs together and doesn't look jerky. Uh, imagine that you had, uh, say, six frames a second. It would look jerky. So what um, the cartoonists did back in the day, they discovered that 24 frames a second was the, f the best, the slowest that you could get and you couldn't tell the, the difference between each frame your your eyes aren't that smart so what I run at is I run at 4k 24 frames a second and I use the 180 rule as well so I use 48th of a second shutter speed 1 48th of a second so that means that's the shutter stays open for 1 48th of a second um, which is really quite slow um, and obviously if I would had the camera without this filter on it would be totally blown out the, the light levels would completely white out and you wouldn't be able to see me at all so what I've done is I've used these neutral density filters like like a pair of sunglasses to uh, re reduce the the overall exposure the because we can't change the aperture on the GoPro you need to change something and that's what these little filters do now I have the free well, uh, these are the bright day filters and, and they come in uh, this little little four pack. So it's, uh, it's got neutral density filters with a built in polarizing filter as well. So that it's a combination filter, hybrid filter. So it goes from four, 16, 32 and 64 are the ND filters in this little kit. And uh, I'm using a number 32 at the moment because it's really quite bright out here. If it was any brighter, I would stick in a 64 uh, and that would bring down the exposure to something normal. Now, uh, what I do is uh, I shoot in uh, RAW without any enhancement from the camera. So the, the camera just takes in everything that it gets as it comes. It doesn't alter it at all. And then what I do in post-production is I change the, uh, I go in and I tell the camera what um, uh, the white balance is. So this will be a sunny day. Uh, I'll then go in and I'll probably increase or decrease the exposure, increase or decrease the contrast. I'll then go in and boost up the sharpness a little bit. And then I'll go into changing the, uh, the, the brightness settings slightly. Uh, quite often I bring the brightness down a little bit. Uh, there may be one or two areas that I need to bring the brightness up uh, and then of course I will change the color settings as well the saturation I'll increase the saturation so it might get the foreground the background the midground and I'll, I'll just tweak it just a little bit maybe 14 no more than 15 percent uh, one way or the other and uh, and then I export it and you get to see the results so that's what I do with my little camera these ND filters I just love them uh, if I take one out of the box, I'll show you. I'll take a close-up picture 
and I'll insert that now. Right, what you can see with this little ND filter is that it's got a red band around it. Now that red band, uh, which, I'll, which will, you can see in the photograph I just put in, there is the words, it's got ND64 on this, in this case, with a slash, and then it's got PL telling you it's a polarizing lens. Uh, so what you do is you rotate this red band around, there's a white marker on there, which you'll, you'll see in the photograph, you rotate this round until the white marker lines up with the slash between the 64 and the CPL and that will get you maximum polarization for this lens on your camera and uh, that uh, really good to know that a lot of people don't know that um, but yeah that little tiny white mark is there to guide you to get the most polarizing uh, effect from your filter now why do I want to use 24 frames a second with 1 over 48 um, that's simply because I like motion blur when you uh, when you watch a movie and you see uh, car chases and, and the background machine uh, is moving really fast past you um, it doesn't look sharp does it? it could look if you stop the film it would look pin sharp in some cases but if you if you want to, uh, in the cinema if you stop the film the 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 background would be blurred and that's what they call motion blur and now I like a bit of motion blur see I'm me I'm I'm in sharp focus because I'm not moving around so much but if I hold my hand up and wave that about you'll see that my fingers become a bit of a blur and that's what we want that's motion blur it's more pleasing to the eye rather than going rather than shooting in 4k 60 uh, where everything is rock sharp and it's uh, I don't think it looks so good anyway that's just me on you know um, but yes so that's the fr why I use these free well filters and uh, the density they are they act as sunglasses for my camera and they, they control my exposure uh, obviously if I felt that this this photograph was slightly overexposed I would go in and put the next filter in I'll put the ND 64 in and uh, that will bring the exposure down but it seems to be quite good at the moment with the 60 uh, with the 32 now I do like these free well filters like I said and I have an another couple here which I, I purchased uh, just after my uh, well, just before my dad passed away um, so well, yeah a bit of a sad thing but uh, anyway uh, digressing you, you know that I like to shoot night scenes where you see the stars slowly rotating around the sky and you see the shooting stars coming over well this little filter here apparently uh, fixes onto the camera in the same way but it's it is a um, what they call a sky light filter it reduces the light pollution in the camera and it only allows through those frequencies which enhance the night sky apparently I haven't used it yet because we, we haven't had a decent night uh, since I've been home uh, but yeah, so hopefully the next time we get a clear sky, I'll put the camera out and I'll take a, a night lapse again and see if it makes any difference to the uh, the footage of the sky. And uh, the other fil filter that I got, this it's this one. The um, sorry, a little bit of sun. It, this this one here is a polarizing filter with no darkening of the lens. It's just a clear lens um, for f filtering out reflections. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, if I was out taking some video on uh, quite a low light day or in the, sh in the, sh in the shadows and uh, you've got a little bit of reflection coming off, say, the, the, the leaves on a plant. Now, the, the you cannot change the reflection. Once you've captured that image on your camera, you cannot get rid of those reflections. They're there forever. Now, it's it's easier to remove them using a filter than it is to go in and use your computer and try and get rid of that white reflection uh, and I think I've demonstrated before um, that it will the camera will actually uh, not show those that reflected light and it will give you a much better picture and then then you can do whatever you want to do with it you want you change the color 
uh, this, that and the other, but the, because the reflection's gone, it will look much better. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use it for. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a bright sunny day, so I'm using this ND32. So it will help, uh, help bring down the exposure and it will allow me to take out the reflections as well. Okay, I've rambled on for a good uh, good few minutes about my ex my free well filters. Um, I haven't used uh, anybody else's filters on my GoPro, uh, but I have used a polarizing filter on my stills camera. So in a minute, I'm gonna take some stills images of those filters that were in the box so you can get a better idea of what's actually going on. Okay, catch you later. Bye then.